Okay, so last week I, I showed uh, doing some lines in PNID and what we're going to do today is cover having a look at uh, converting those PNID lines to 3D pipe uh, and basically building up our plant inside 3D. So inside the project manager here, plant 3D drawings is hard coded so we can't change that but underneath that we can add our own subfolders so you can see I've got one for building equipment uh, inventor MEP piping and, and obviously structure as well. So to build up some equipment I am pace, uh, placing this model uh, as close to zero, 00 as possible and you can see I've already added some equipment here built on uh, some of the parametrics uh, the dialog boxes that come inside Plant 3D. So to create equipment uh, we switch back to our 3D piping workspace that can be done from the workspace changer uh, down inside AutoCAD here and to create equipment I just click on the create equipment button uh, and then I'll be presented with a, a dialog box um, with some obviously some predefined templates in here as well so I can do vertical vessels uh, I've got blowers, centrifuges, heat exchangers uh, and even pumps so just to show something like a pump uh, we just uh, fill in the tags and the long descriptions if you want and then just go through and, and have a look at the different options and as, as we go through and change the values then obviously the, the sample there just changes and shows us what we're actually going to do. Uh, you can save these as templates so I can save uh, once I've, I've predefined this pump I can save it as a template and reuse it over and over again. Another way that you can uh, convert AutoCAD blocks so anything that's been, you know, drawn in the past as a AutoCAD 3D block, we can convert, and we can even convert inventor equipment as well. So uh, if I have a tank or a pump or something that is done in inventor, I can export out the the AEC file. I can shrink wrap it and then bring in uh, all my information like nozzles and and uh, and some of the, the background metadata with that as well. So I've already drawn some of these pieces of equipment in here. I've placed them sort of where I think I want them in, in the whole scheme of things near zero, 00. So I'll just save that as one model. Uh, and I can also do structure. So the whole idea of some of these videos is, is to show you um, about importing and exporting from uh, plant to advanced steel as well. So you can see I've already drawn some structure here. If I just switch it over to a shaded view, uh, I've got my structure here. I've got some platforms, cage ladders, upper platforms with handrail. I've got stairs uh, and some pipe supports as well. So later on when I do the export from uh, plant steel to advanced steel, I'll finish off this, this grid over here on the right hand side and then I'll export that to advanced steel. And then lastly, we are going to do some piping so I'm just going to open up one of my piping models and once that loads the beauty of uh, Plant 3D is that we can interconnect between XREFs as well so I've got my um, my plant model here sitting here by itself I'm going to attach my equipment model and my structure model just using normal attach drawing command um, if you are using Vault, you can obviously extra through Vault as well. So I'm just going to uh, overlay my structure, uh, my um, equipment, and then I'm going to bring in some of my structural models. Okay, so here's our plant as we're we're progressing through it. So what I want to do here is place some pipe so the, the pipe that I am looking for so off my PNID because I know I've been drafting the PNIDs I want to connect from this nozzle here on the exchanger over to this tower here so I'm just going to load up my PNID line list and it'll appear as a new palette and I've got the pull downs for both the PNIDs in here and I've obviously got that last line that I've got so because the the pin ID has the size, spec, service and line number um, we can just basically uh, drag that in. Now the usual practice to place pipe uh, and any inline fittings would be to build them up from catalogues and specs. I'll cover that in, in another video 
uh, I'm just going to use the out of the box uh, catalogs and specs so I know that on the pin ID we have size the spec the service and the line number so I just right click on it and go place item and we are just going to click on the node of the nozzle so everything's a node connection and I'm going to tick on the node for the column so you see at the bottom there we've got five solutions and this is solution number one so I'm just going to say next n for next n for next and n for next and that seems to be a pretty good fit there and I'll just do a for accept okay so what Plan 3D has done, it's it's done auto routing between two points. You don't have to route it uh, manually via the mouse or by typing in. You can let it do auto routing. And I also want to place that gate valve in there. So I'm just using the nearest snap point there, and then I'm just going to orientate it off uh, to the north here as well. Now inside my spec, I've got different types of valves. And this is obviously just one of the standard butwell valves. What I'm going to do is just click on it and I'm going to substitute it for a gate valve that is flanged. So now what Plan 3D has done, it's automatically added the flanges onto that. And if I look at it from the front front view there, we can also see that it's put in the bolts and the gaskets. Uh, if I come up to here, this one on the nozzle, you can see that gap in there showing that we've got our gaskets uh, and, and bolts in there as well. Okay, so they're listed as a joint in, in, and they're grouped together. So there's our run from our pen ID. Uh, and then we can obviously go through and get bill of materials. We can ISO that and uh, we can create our views. So what I'm going to do now so this will be the end of this video in my next video I'm going to do some structure and then we're going to talk about going from plant structure into advanced steel